Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're gonna random this one. I'm hoping for Isaac. I'm just gonna be straight with you. I'm hoping for Isaac. We got Judas. That's also pretty fun. Dare I be cocky and uh, just see what our seed is? I gotta be honest. I don't know what's on this seed. But I'm not feeling too good. It just doesn't strike me as a particularly, you know, aesthetically pleasing visually seed here in terms of just the raw numbers and letters alphanumeric code used to make it up now. I don't necessarily believe necessarily believe that that holds any uh, water when it comes to what we have. But we did get Dead Sea Scrolls in our first item room, so maybe I know what I'm talking about. I really don't want to use Dead Sea Scrolls once, get Kamikaze, and end my run. I like Judas. We don't random Judas that often. Someone sent me a tweet very recently, and this is not for me once being like, Somebody sent me a tweet and told me to go uh, fuck a cake. No. This is somebody sent me a tweet and said, You know, it's been 34 episodes since you played Judas. That's crazy, man. That's a long effing time. That's like, uh, it's a little over two weeks of videos. I mean, that's gonna happen with random and, and Eden runs, you know, thrown in to, to mitigate them. But still, like, I, I'm sure it's been a long time since I played some other characters as well. I don't want to lose this Judas run this early is what I'm talking about, though. We have played Judas Semi recently since that, that tweet came out. We definitely had one or two Judas runs that came out, but still. I'm kind of tempted to just head down to the next floor. But I'm not gonna... People always think, though, that if you just if you skip a lot of a floor, you're rushing and it hurts you. But it doesn't necessarily hurt us in this situation. Because we might go from the cellar to the basement, and uh, that could stop us from fi facing so many enemies who kill us in a single hit, or, you know, difficult enemies in general. But I'm going to try to get the five cents because we're so close. I might regret it on this room, though. Uh, at least it's not one of the truly asshole-ish big rooms. Assholish Big Rooms was also the, the name of my Flemish grandfather. Um, please, stay away. I'm hoping that maybe we can... Oh, stay away. Blow up a pot. Blow up a pot. We, blow, we blew up one pot. That's okay. I'm alright with that. Actually, you know what? I'm glad we stayed here because it turns out that we have a library. So I will now probably use actually both of my keys. Check this out. Uh, not a good start, but that's okay. Because if we get like a Book of Revelations or something, which we don't, we actually probably got... The five worst books for dating my teenage daughter. Uh, what I will say, though, is let's use another key here. And we'll pick up Book of Sin, use it, get a nickel. That feels awesome. We'll also pick up the Bible so we don't have to deal with it again. And then we'll uh, come back down here and we'll grab this battery. And we'll use Book of Sin again. That gave us an Emperor card, which I actually think is pretty useful. I... I'm happy with it. It's a little unusual, but I'm I'm happy with it. And we took the Bible out of our rotation, and we took Book of Sin out of our rotation, which, me, which means we won't end up saddled with those on a deal with the devil. So, uh, it might not be a traditional kind of floor, and, you know, of course I am a little perturbed by the fact that we don't have any HP. The Emperor card is a weird item to have at this point, too, because your thinking might be, well, pop the Emperor card, fight the boss right away, so you don't risk taking red heart damage. But, even if we got, well, we're guaranteed to get a deal with the devil, so actually that, that logic doesn't necessarily apply. Um, but still, I, I think it's smarter for us to, to hang around for as long as possible and try to pick up a spirit heart. I'm very disappointed that that didn't sort it right out for us there. Because um, if we hang around and pick up a spirit heart, it gives us a much better chance of actually being able to survive a deal with the devil and thus get that deal with the devil, you know, precedent kept alive. And there is no fortune teller or, like, really anything but the blood bank to gamble on in there. So this is a very big disappointment, actually. We need to pick up... That could have killed us. We need to pick up some keys, uh, kind of desperately. Really wish that we'd gotten that uh, champion to explode. He's got to be one hit away. Red heart damage doesn't matter, though. All that matters is survival. In a way, that's kind of a load off. But please, hook us up with some extra consumables here. We're lacking the necessary tools for success on a second floor. We need to be able to survive our deal with the devil. That's like our principal goal here. If we can survive our deal with the devil, life is good. You might be saying... Well, why not go to that item room right now? Rest assured, I would love to. And in most situations, I probably would have already been in there. However, on this one, it's much more important that we get this spirit heart so we can get a deal with the devil. Now, we might get HP from the boss. So, like, this this uh, might all be for naught. But I think it's more important that we go to our shop early. Maybe we can buy a key and a spirit heart on it anyway. Um, but, uh, the, you know, again, survival is our, our paramount concern right now. Even if we are going... A little slowly. So we did get a spirit heart. Uh, I would like to buy the steam sale, but we'll start with the key. 
just so we can go back and get to our item room in case this will allow us to start balling out of control. We're gonna have to backtrack anyway over there. Now we can gamble a little bit, and I do mean a little bit, on our, our blood bank. Okay, I'm, I'm very glad at the way that we handled this now. The Sagittarius pickup is huge, especially if we end up fighting a boss like Larry Jr., Duke of Flies, anything like that. And we're, we'll, we'll nickel and dime the blood bank a little bit in the hopes of getting nickels and dimes that we can use to maybe buy that steam sale and set ourselves up nicely for the future. This is like the... It's the polar opposite of last run, where immediately we had a huge tolerance for failure. You know, because we had nine lives. We have no tolerance for failure right now. We have very, very little HP. But that doesn't mean we're in a bad position. It's ju it just means we're Judas. You know, that's that's the thing about Judas. You've got to be strong at the, like at the start of the game. You've got to play well. Most characters don't have that requirement. Some do. I think this is worth doing, and I'm, I'm very glad we did it. We got that uh, spirit heart. The pill is I found pills, but that's okay. The spirit heart is, is king. And you might be saying, hey, you know, <laughs> apparently that's what I should call this run. You might be saying, but you might be saying, hey, Pop Book of Belial, you're going to fight two bosses in here instead of just the one on the actual boss fight. But I don't think that's the right idea because I think you need to, I might be wrong about this, but I think you need to use the Book of Belial on the boss fight in order to guarantee yourself the deal with the devil. Although we haven't taken red heart damage except from a blood bank, so we should probably have guaranteed ourselves the deal with the devil anyway. In short... I don't think it really matters. <laughs> as long as you, uh, as long as you get that deal with the devil, and as long as you don't take damage here, it doesn't really matter whether you use Book of Belial here or use it on the the other room. I'm gonna open this. Yeah, yeah, that was lovely. We're getting decently close to being able to pop open that steam sale. This could help out a lot. I really appreciate that, and we can at least play the blood bank with that. And you know what? We'll try this again as well. I didn't even realize that was a Tinted Rock until the very end of that setup. So, we got pretty lucky with our Tinted Rock generation here. Picked up another key as well. So, you know what? I am going to use that other key to open this up. In the hopes that we pick up, like, Fate or something ridiculous like that. No, just a lot of money and another key. So, there's our Steam sale pretty much paid for. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I should not have put myself in harm's way there. But, hey, we can actually afford to take a little damage. It's a nice change of pace on this run. And this is a nice, I really like this, you know? It's like we're watching a good plan come together here. We're going to be fighting double Monstro. Almost hit the Emperor card by accident. I'm going to go ahead and say that the efficacy of that probably would have been a little bit dubious. Alright, you should be all dead. Save the minion for last. And now, the all-important deal with the devil. Range upgrade, so important. <laughs> little, little sarcasm there. And a lot of spirit hearts, so... I mean, some good, some bad here. The luck upgrade is nice, but I would have preferred to get some guaranteed deal with the angel. Sorry, guaranteed deal with the devil precedent. But you can't always get what you want. We're all right, at the very least. And although we're going to be a little bit slow, we have no risk of dying as, as Judas, which is awesome. That's our shop. So let's go back and pick up the steam sale. Most important thing in there by far. And then we'll come back and open this other golden chest. We got very lucky that we got enough consumables to make that happen. And we're pretty powerful as well. We haven't gotten damage upgrades. Ugh. But the pickup of, uh, of Sagittarius is a huge, important one for us. I was kind of hoping. I was really thinking we'd get the blood bag out of that. I don't know why. Just wishful thinking, I guess. But uh, that's okay. We'll go pick up this red heart over here. It doesn't really matter which one. If you think I'm going to backtrack uh, and just play that blood bank over and over and over... With our one red heart capacity, you have not watched me play that much Binding of Isaac, and that's okay. I'm happy you're around now, and hopefully we will um, we'll get to know each other. Well, you know, you'll get to know me. Getting to know each other would be nice, but, uh, you know, largely impractical. But I'm not going to say it's never going to happen. You know, I, don't, I can't predict the future. I'm not Nostradamus. I'm not even Nos. Nostradamus gets too much credit, man. I think it's possible that Nos might be more of a visionary than Nostradamus. Have you heard Illmatic? Okay, we were going to make it. <laughs> it was a little tricky, but we made it. I love piercing shots, man. Penetrative tears, as they call them in this game, actually. But piercing shots is the antiquated term, you know? It's like, uh, it's like Burma. We don't use that name anymore. Did you know that this is true, by the way? The Midwest of the United States, up until 1984, used to be known as the North Central part of the United States. 
I don't know what the the U.S. Census Bureau is smoking that they changed the name. Midwest makes no fucking sense to me because it's in the center of the country. If it's Midwest, it should be Mideast as well, right? It's like the Saudi Arabia of America, of America. However, you know, they changed the name from North Central. North Central is exactly what that... It's, it's a good description. Maybe Midwest has some kind of cultural significance or something. Anyway. I forgot what I was even talking about. Oh, yes, I love piercing shots because basically... As much as I would love to have damage upgrades, we we have a shortcut to high damage. On any room where we're fighting multiple enemies, piercing shots is a damage upgrade. As long as we hit more than one enemy with each shot. Or hit each enemy more than once, as would be the case for like Larry Jr. Chubb, I think. So it's it's not reliable, and it doesn't help us out that much against enemies that are, you know, single target and don't spawn minions. But are there any single target bosses that don't spawn minions? Maybe, but like like I'm thinking Carrion Queen, but actually Carrion Queen can spawn minions in the form of the hearts and the red poops and piercing shots helps a lot because it has only one vulnerable area. So being able to have like a shortcut to hit those vulnerable areas is extremely important. Pretty lucky I didn't get hit there. Let's just be honest about it. I am going to go to our cursor and we've got the spirit hearts necessary to feel totally justified in that. Wow. Wow. That is embarrassing. Okay. Don't let that happen again. Lost way more HP than we should have there. That's okay. Stone chest is openable. The important thing is don't panic. Don't let it get to you. Speed up is just fine as far as I'm concerned. Pretty good chance of getting a deal with the angel on this floor if I had to guess. Deal with the devil would be nice, but a deal with the angel... I mean, we could take an item from a deal with the angel, and because there's no deal with the angel precedent, supposedly, um, get deals with the devil in the future. We could have the best of both worlds. Got one more spider over here. Come on, Abel. Come on, Abel. Up to three cents. That means uh, effectively jack and shit for us. I think we could probably kiss Boss Rush goodbye on this run, which is probably a sigh of relief for some of you. <laughs> I'm sure that people are like, oh, fucking finally. He's not just going to be stealing Polyphemus from the boss rush. All right, Tinted Rock. We'll put a bomb down there. Didn't want to fuck with it just in case he wandered into the area of effect, and he did. So, lucky us. Probably should have been hit there, but worked out just fine. We get Magic Mushroom, which is beautiful. Our deal with the Angel is the Rosary, which is terrible. But we'll take it, and we'll have to deal with the Bible. It's, oh, no, because we already took the Bible out of the rotation. It's basically just three extra spirit arts. I'm happy to have it. Why am I even bothering with the angel at this point? I don't know, because it's it's funny, and we can. Like, we're... Ah, that was dumb. We're doing pretty well on this run, so um, let, let's give it a chance. Actually, someone told me, now that I think about it, we've already almost crossed the line here, but... Uh, not, like, in a in a, a, an offensive way. But we've almost crossed the line in terms of Angel Precedent, because they told me that if you have key pieces, you have Angel Precedent. So are we just going to go, like, full Angel Precedent here? I guess we will. We'll see if that... We can have a chance to test that, because we have Book of Belial, actually. In the future, we will do more damage to these angels. Ladies and gentlemen, they are floating in space. Please let me go here. We also got another key for our troubles there. I think I'm just going to leave. I know there's a little bit of stuff left on this floor, but... I don't really want to deal with it. <laughs> and I'm going to save this Emperor card as long as it's possible, even if we're not going to use it on a deal with the angel, or deal with the devil, or deal with the angel. Um, or sorry, that, I've got this totally backwards. Even if we're not going to use this to get into boss rush, or get out of boss rush, effectively, um, I want to save it for maybe the cathedral, or the wound part one, or something like that. Probably the cathedral, but sometimes my willpower forces me to use it on... My lack of willpower, I should say. Forces me to use it on womb one just to, you know, get that last deal with the devil as quickly as possible. And if it's mom's knife or something, it saves you a lot of time in the long run. Anyway. We're doing fine here. You know, piercing shots are doing what they do, which is helping marginally. Hi, I'm Homer Simpson. Or <laughs> Hi, I'm Billy Corgan, smashing pumpkins. Homer Simpson, smiling politely. It's a good one. It sticks with you, that joke. Stuck with me for about 20 years, apparently. Not good dodging on my part. I'll admit, very sloppy play. I can't believe I didn't get hit by that there. I really thought he would be dead prior to it, but it's okay. Shit happens. Probably shouldn't have just gotten right up in his face there, but we didn't get hit, so until I'm punished for it, I suffer no consequences. And I never learn. Oh, he did a, he did a little bit of a surprise move there. It's okay. 
world card. We'll pop that to see where our secret room is, and it is indeed over there. We have a dice room. I hope that it's not a one or a six, but if it is, I'll be okay with it. I mean that sincerely, because we're not insanely powerful right now, nor is this run, like, super cool. Like, it's just kind of a... Right now, it's it's a fairly standard Judas run, which is is fun, don't get me wrong. But we'd lose Book of Belial, but have the chance to reroll into something potentially crazy. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what it is. If I had to choose, I always choose five, as long as I'm not worried about boss rush. A five room, you know, to basically give you the, the uh, forget me now without forcing you to uh, lose your spacebar item is awesome. But it, most likely, it's probably not a one or a six. It's a six. All right, shit. Let's let's do it. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll try to get the blood bank out of or the uh, the blood bag out of this first. Will we lose our emperor card? I don't think so. Let's try it. So we don't have anything anymore. We got uh, tech Libra Isaac's heart. Ah, shit. <laughs> a little brimstone though. And with Isaac's heart, we can play this forever. So now we'll be looking out for things like blood rights. Um, does IV bag still hurt us? No, IV bag. We can just play endlessly. Uh, you guys. I think I might have encountered a little bit of a nice little semi-exploit here. Literally just create like unlimited things with bum friend. This run's gonna be weird now. There's extra HP. I mean, again, we could do this ad infinitum. I might not want to do this ad infinitum just because I'll get bored, but for now it seems pretty awesome. We got two Emperor cards. Now one's a chariot. Rules card. Chubb dislikes smoke. Who would have thought? Fair. <laughs> Look at it. He's paying out like crazy. More chariot cards. I think we'll take uh, Maggie's Faith with us. We can also just easily get ourselves to 99 cents. So let's do that while we're still here. I mean, we might stick with the IV bag for the whole game. As much as I would love, like, Blood Rites or something like that. Seems a little silly, you know. If we could get, like, Bloody Penny with this, I'm pretty sure that we would just win the game. Now, don't let you... Don't... Don't try to put me in that position where you're like, see, Isaac's heart is awesome. Because we haven't fought any enemies with Isaac's heart. And as soon as we fight enemies, if our damage isn't really up to snuff, that's where we're going to feel the burn, right? All right, that's enough money for us. You can take everything else. Take our Emperor card, pill his pheromones. Just get that shit out of here. Thanks for... You gave me a key. Out of all that, you gave me a key. Well, this is certainly... It's changed us more than I would have expected. It actually seems like our damage is pretty good. Do we have Holy Mantle as well? Like, it seems like I got hit twice there. Like, Isaac's heart got hit twice. Maybe I'm mistaken, though. Yeah, we'll take this. Why not take everything? You know, we can literally just create infinite money out of the ground. Oh, you guys. Please, donation machine. Don't do me dirty. I'm going to wedge myself back here. And just mash the space bar as much as I can. Don't explode on me, buddy. Oh, my God. The, the one time we could have put in, like, a thousand cents. Well, we'll two of spades it up. Where's our Emperor car? There it is. No! No, come on! Oh, we have Tech Point 5. That's not even, like, Tech 2. Sweet. Um, I'm very disappointed in what, uh... In what my bun fr bum... Bun friend. My bum friend chose to spawn there. I'll tell you what, you know. We might as well play the Key Beggar as much as we can. We got 32 keys, and I'm assuming that we can... Pretty much just have bum friends spawn like an infinite number of them. I guess any time we're not doing something, we should straight up just be spamming the space bar. In fact, probably like every room we should just be straight up spamming the space bar. We're starting to run out of keys a little bit here, but I'm pretty sure that this gentleman is going to pay out for us. If he takes 32 keys and gives us nothing, I will be slightly disappointed though. Okay, we should probably start opening these. Bob's brain. Infamy. A spirit heart. I don't know why I'm picking up the money. No, 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 no. Good, we got him out of there. We got him out of there. What do we get? Speed up. Another key. This run's getting a little ridiculous. Just for the record. Just keep spamming the space bar, dog. Why not, right? We just picked up an eternal heart out of this whole situation. It's getting rid goddamn ridiculous, but it's all good, man. Why would I leave? Oh, we're out of keys. That's one reason, I guess. Hermit. Lovers. Emperor. We'll stick with the Emperor, I think. So, uh, I don't love that. I didn't blow him up, though. Oh, we got Flat Penny. Okay, so that's unlimited keys now. Fuck you, Maggie's Faith. 
Well, now I'm very excited by the prospect of key beggars. I will tell you that much with authority. All right, you know what? I'm willing to admit. I think this has this has convinced me of the value of Isaac's heart in very niche situations. Admittedly, we need to have flat penny. Thank you. But in those very niche situations, it's it's certainly getting the job done, ain't it? Don't blow up, my friend. Thank you. Pheromones. Like what? Oh my god, we have the fucking D20 here. You guys. Don't... Oh, we re-rolled it all. No! That's okay. We couldn't have gotten this combination without the D20 anyway, so it's not like I can really bitch about it. No, you don't understand. That's my money. It's not like it matters. Like... We can still get like an unlimited amount of keys. This is gonna be like a seven hour long run. I gotta I gotta go to dinner, man. But this this key beggar's not paying out. I've given him like 50 keys. Come on. Come on. Come on. I can't take that many speed down pills, man. You're just not gonna give me what I need <laughs> to finish the run? Alright, here we go again. Oh. I mean, it's getting a little cumbersome, but I really, at this point, I'm just doing it for shits and giggles to see how long it's going to take this motherfucker to pay out with something. Does it really take this long? Perhaps more importantly, does it need to take this long? Get all of the uh, space bar items we can get. Or not all of the space bar items, all the golden chest items. There we go, Master of Unlocking, just in time. All this other shit can die in a fire, as far as I'm concerned. We are just going to get the Emperor card and get out of here. Um, you know what? Why don't we take this opportunity to give ourselves, like, maybe not 99 keys, but, like, a lot of keys. And then we can take another trinket with us, like Maggie's Faith, for example, to maybe give us a better chance of winning. It's getting a little ridiculous. If only we had Dark Bum on this run as well. I gotta, I gotta actually get the money as I drop it. It's slowing me down way too much to let Bum Friend pick it up. Got a little, like, race between one another here. That was mine, you asshole. He'll give me keys occasionally, so it's not a total loss, but I would prefer to just get them directly. Rusted key, not something I'm particularly interested in, but I, you know, it's the thought that counts. This is up there, you know, this is in the top 10 most ridiculous rebirth runs I think I've ever had. We'd gain nothing out of the chariot card, as far as I'm concerned. How long am I gonna go? Shit, dude, I don't know, 50 keys, 60 keys? Why wouldn't I go, like, as high as I can go here? Considering we just spent, like, probably close to 60 keys on a single key beggar. Like, it's not as easy as you'd think to spam this shit up. Every time we hit spacebar, we're getting, like, one key. Which is actually, like, a pretty sweet item, all things considered. I can't believe how long the rest of this floor has taken us. If you had told me this is how the rest of this floor is going to go, I would have been surprised. I'll tell you what, we'll play until 60 keys. We're getting there. Judas's tongue... There's something to be said for Judas's tongue, but I don't know if we have deal with the angel precedent anymore or what, you know? This run's so fucked at this point, <laughs> I just have no idea. Uh, we got like four... Come on. One more to go should do it. There we go. That's 60 keys. Take the Emperor card with this. We gotta, we gotta draw the line somewhere. Let's move on. I mean, I think this is a super one run. All we gotta do is show up. I guess anytime we're about... Nah, that wouldn't work, actually. Disregard me. All right. Land this Bob's Brain. Between Bob's Brain, Little Brimstone, Tech Point Five, and whatever our tiers are doing on, you know, just as an additional benefit there, I think we might have Holy Mantle, too, for real. Um, this is this is just crazy. Like, it's a great combination. We don't need to stick with um, Flat Penny. The whole point of that was that I would end up taking something that isn't Flat Penny. But what's done is done, I suppose. Uh, we'll stick with Flat Penny and just have unlimited keys for the rest of the run. We totally have Holy Mantle. How did I not notice that like more fully until that moment? Come on. <laughs> I'm not that concerned about picking up that uh, that extra key over there. I think we're relatively safe as is. We will pick up that though. That was just laziness. That was dumb of me. We can still take damage on this run. I mean, it is literally still losable, but plausibly less so. I can't believe there's a pill we haven't identified yet. Well, that's exactly what we need here. 
we literally can't be hurt by walking on spikes. All right, I guess we should just play this forever. I mean, let's spam this at the same time and get to, you know, bum friend to pay out with some more shit. We might as well play it until we get the blood bag or the IV bag. We could sit here, you know, as long as you want to let me sit here, that's fine by me. It's not like we're ever not going to be in 99 cents. Uh, we'll stick with the Emperor card, man. Pretty fly. Lovely. Yeah, sure. An extra spirit heart. Lover's card. Just pop that shit. Emperor card. Justice card. Sure. <laughs> it never stops, man. Okay, let's get out of here. That is going to go on forever. I don't even care if there's like a tears upgrade pill in there we're missing. Again, you got to draw the line somewhere. If you got unlimited money, you don't spend all day counting it, you know? We can still use bombs. It's just lazy to not pick them up, but we effectively have an unlimited amount of every single consumable, if you think about it. If we just, you know, if the time scale is long enough, it's no problem. What do I need store credit for at this point in my life? Have you considered that? It's not necessary. What we need, or what we would benefit from at least, is extra damage. If we could find it, I would very much like to. But this run's going to start to go pretty fast if we get a deal with the devil or a great deal with the angel here. War will give us a... F I can't believe we only have a first level cube of meat. But that's what war's going to give us. War! What is it good for? Actually, an orbital. Which is not that bad, eh? You know, this late in the game might not seem like that big of a deal, but I'll take it. There's ball of bandages. And... I'm so glad we're not fighting Krampus. But I, I feel like I can't, like I'm happy to have Guppy's head. And did we take another Guppy item? I can't remember. I'm happy to have Guppy's head, but I'm not going to stick with it. Because, like, why would I? <laughs> we got unlimited everything with the IV bag here. There's your incredibly rare combo for the day. IV bag, oh, don't ever touch me this room. Uh, IV bag, Isaac's heart. Bum friend. And if we could just get like Bloody Penny, Dark Bum along with it, we'll have like a, a quite literally, uh, at least, no, nah, it's not literally, but it's the close, as close to literally as you can come, unlosable run. The Hoymet? Uh, I don't see why we wouldn't just pop this Hermit card right away. I mean, there's value in Red Candle, but who really cares? And now I just want better damage so we can get this clusterfuck over with faster, like. It's already pretty much over. Functionally speaking, it was over a long time. It was over as soon as we rerolled it. I'm not going to say this is one of the best rerolls we've ever had, but it's certainly... Oh, wow. Well, no, take me back to the spawn room. That sucks. I was going back there anyway, you freaking idiot. Um, it's definitely one of the weirdest rerolls. It's one of the rerolls that has changed our run most... <laughs> most literally. Apparently, literally is the word of the day. Stay away. I don't care if you hit me. Do you understand that? Like, if you hit me, you're just... You're just making this longer for everyone involved. The sack is empty. It's like a Guided by Voices song. Mm, come on, come on, the sack is empty. Come on, come on, come on, come on, the sack is empty. Anyway. Just, you know, you gotta, every video needs one Bob Pollard reference, I think. Let's head down here. And, you know, I, I kind of feel like I'm YouTube's Guided by Voices. Except, instead of releasing um, half-hour albums with a hundred songs in them, I released a hundred videos that are a half hours each. A half hours each? A half hour long each? Oh, there you go. I was hoping for small rock, but... Sure, thanks. Thanks a lot. More bombs. I know there was another bomb we left behind there. I'm not that uh, concerned about it, to be honest with you. What do you think, guys? Boss Rush? We're actually, like, not that far behind the Boss Rush uh, train. I thought we would be totally screwed. I mean, we are totally screwed for getting it, but I thought we would be at, like, 30 minutes by now. Thank you, Brimstone. Little Brimstone, anyway. If we got actual Brimstone, I'd shit my pants right now. I wouldn't actually, but... You know. I'm not gonna say the thought wouldn't cross my mind. Sweet, we didn't have to use one of our literally infinite bombs to, uh... Get that spirit heart, which again is also like a, we have a literally infinite amount of that. I guess I lost my emperor card at some point. That's me being an idiot. It happens from time to time. We could literally spawn an emperor card if we just waited long enough. So, uh, 
There is that. We are completely immune to creep. I want to remember that just in case we, uh, you know, find ourselves fighting like, uh, not care. Ah, even carrying queen would, would make sense, yeah. Let's go back to our item room down here. And we will open this golden chest, I guess in the hope that it's like fate or something like that. We're killing time here for a second, so might as well let bum friend maybe spawn something. So Tammy's head is lovely. But we're not going to take it because we're going to stick with uh, the IV bag as it makes us unkillable and is ridiculous. The only thing I'll get rid of this for is like the razor blade or uh, blood rites. I prefer blood rites. People are always talking about it. We've never had it with this combination at least. I would like to. I don't care. Hit me. See if I care. I want to get with you and take your picture. Blue candle does nothing. Battery does nothing. Keys, bombs, you know. What do you get for the man who has everything? Good. Good. And the mom fight. Honestly, at this point, I'm just I'm a little frustrated that our damage is not so good. Because if our actual damage was good, this would be the perfect run. Because it's ridiculous. It's just a little weak right now. If we could land one of these Bob's brain shots, that wouldn't be so bad. That, wasn't, that one was on me. Terrible damage on my part. That one did, did land. We did get a deal with the devil. I'm very excited about the chance to become a guppy. Uh, I'll take Headless Baby, but I'm not going to take the nail. I'd rather have the HP at this point. So, down to the next floor. We continue onwards on this labyrinth of uh, nihilism. Our boss room appears to be directly above us, which means that inevitably it's actually super far away, even though it looks like it's right next to us. And we'll have no deal with the devil here, because it's a curse of the labyrinth. Very disappointing. What did I tell you? It's deceptive, man. They put the boss room right next to you, but it's not actually next to you. It's like the worst city planning of all time. It's like me playing City Skylines. They put, you know, two backyards. It'll take you 20 minutes to drive between them because the roads don't connect. Yeah, see? I, <laughs> I had a sneaking suspicion we would find ourselves in this situation. There is a mini boss and a curse room. Um, I guess we'll just go far right here. It looks like there's more space over here. Originally, it seems like it's closer to go the other way. But I don't think that's going to end up being the case. This looks pretty good to me. It's nice to have a you know holy mantle for a number of reasons, but one of them is that if little you know Bob's brimstone goes off in our face. Bob's brimstone. Don't give them any ideas. <laughs> if Bob's brain goes off in our face, it actually uh, it doesn't hurt us on the first try. In the future, you know, we dream of uh, electric sheep, but for now, it's nice. I can't believe. Do you see Bob's uh, brain thread the needle there? That was pretty amazing. Please, thank you. All right, so again, I'm not sweating those keys at all. Hoping that maybe we end up finding like a, a Joker card at this point, because it's seriously disappointing that we didn't manage to collect on the deals of the devil that I would have expected to or hoped to at the very least. I still can't complain because it's a, like a really amazing run. But I just wish that the damage was as absurd as the, you know, the rest of it. It has the utility right now. Like, well, there, is there any reason why I shouldn't just like spam this shit out of the space bar while I'm fighting? I don't think so. My own sanity is really all that's holding me back here. We don't need the Fool card, might as well have Pheromones. Never never used the Pheromones card against Mom. Did quite a number. Do we have special bombs? I don't think we ever checked. I should not be doing this back and forth dodging. Makes it very easy for me to accidentally get uh, Isaac's heart actually hit, but whatever. That's done now. Up to the cathedral, and things have started moving a lot faster now. Mostly because that was an XL floor and I knew where to go, but... Uh, we'll... I really don't want to use a dice room on this one because it's so ridiculous, and if we get a key beggar on the chest, we can, you know, farm up literally every item in the game. In the game. On a cold and gray March morning, a beautiful little synergy was born in the game. In the game. <laughs> And a streamer cried. Anyway. I'm not a streamer, actually. I'm a content creator. Please get the please get the term right. That's what I tell the uh, immigration guards when I go through airport security. 
I just tell him I'm <laughs> I just tell him I'm a garbage man. It's just easier. There's nothing disrespectful about that, man. I feel bad, all right? You know, all kids are assholes. Proportionally, I was less of an asshole than most kids, and I mean that sincerely. I was always the kid who's like, you know, watched too many movies where like kids lose their pets and I was overly sentimental and emotional and stuff like that. But I remember once, I made fun of my... Well, he wasn't really my friend, but there was a kid on my baseball team, and I made fun of him because his dad was a garbage man. In my defense, I was like eight, okay? When you're eight, you don't know what the fuck's up. You don't, you don't know that that's the dumbest shit and the, like, the most evil shit to do in the world. And he was like really sad about it. And I was like, man, first off, show some respect. That man handles your garbage. You want the garbage to... Oh, that's the shittiest way to treat people in the whole world. I'm still trying to atone for it now. Is to be like, well, I don't, I fucking hate garbage. Oh, you're gonna come deal with my garbage? Pfft, look at this guy of a low social rank. Like, that's, that's super shitty. The people who do the jobs that are like, you know, Mike Rose style dirty jobs, they deserve the most respect, man. You know, I get an undue amount of respect for, for cracking jokes while playing video games. Go hug a garbage, man. They're making your life awesome. And yeah, they get paid pretty well. Sometimes I hear, hear people complain, you know, oh, it, it happened when there was like the the Bart strike in San Francisco, and I'm not trying to get political with this, but it's just it's a it's a, uh, a a debate tactic I don't understand. They'll be like, well, the Bart drivers, which is the public transit. Fuck it, let's reroll the whole run. Oh yeah, I'm a fan. I liked our weird synergy, but I like this too. You know, the Bart drivers they get paid like sixty thousand dollars a year. You're like, yeah, well, they I mean, they're like really good for the city. You know, they 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 make it so not everyone in the city has to own a car. As a result, there's a lot less traffic, so you can drive your, you know, Mercedes-Benz to work at the newest startup that popped up on fucking Bay Street. Um, it's the same with, like, garbage men. Sometimes people will be like, man, garbage men in Canada make, like, $60,000. It's like, yeah, they take away your garbage, man! We need to start paying more, uh, more industries, like, uh, the, the wage that reflects the, the, the purpose that they live in our society, as opposed to the, or the purpose they have in our society, as opposed to necessarily the skill that it requires to do it. That's my philosophy anyway, but I'm not a, you know, I'm not an economist or anything along those lines. Um, start taking these pills. I got no idea, man. Sure, speed up. Why not? Who wants low speed? I don't want low speed. High luck? Absolutely. Pheromones. This, this run actually, like, the damage that we're doing now is actually awful. That's a surprise to me. We got tiny planet technology. Do we have, like, cool bombs or something? We have normal bombs, which I suppose is still pretty cool. We might actually die on this run. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we do our standard uh, sacrificial dagger rotation gambit. We should probably be shooting at the same time. And when there's minions, maybe we should get the hell away. But in the meantime, I think you can understand how this is going to work. This might be our way out here. There we go. Oh, he's freaking out. I'm, I wish we didn't have concussive tears. <laughs> I wish I never had concussive tears. Don't you say that. Don't you say that. Alright, we got we got Celtic Cross as well, which is a huge help. I think we also might have Poison Touch. Uh, and we have the Wafer or Cancer. I can't tell what our arms look like right here, but... Um, basically, we have the ability to take half as much damage as we should, which is good because our actual like damage output is god-awful, apparently. But there we go. We're not quite done. He didn't die there. I'm a little confused. Alright, down to the next floor. Ugh. Oh, we have Dark Bomb. I didn't even notice. Alright, well... That's okay, too. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Lots of chests, lots of HP. Curse of the Lost, kinda sucks. Number one, why not? Blank card pheromones, sure. Actually, Remote Detonator might be our best call until we actually get a card. Because we could actually use Remote Detonator. If we have to, we can use Remote Detonator on the boss. So we definitely have the Wafer. It is not, not the Wafer. Yeah, you got, I know you're going to pay out with something, so, you know, just save that as a surprise for later. We have Celtic Cross or Virgo. Yeah, why not Pheromones in this room? There's a lot of bullshit I'd rather not deal with. I don't really care about the damage we're taking, actually. It's I'm, I care more about the damage we're doing, which is to say not very much. Oh, watch out for that thing. There we go. That's for you, Dark Bum. Well, we'll come back for those potential spirit hearts. Also, the closer we get, um, the uh, 
the more of the scythes actually land. Not just a sacrificial dagger in action here. Also, I think our shots might not actually affect bombs. So the, uh, oh good. A piece of paper is your guide. So uh, I think actually like placing bombs around Blue Baby may make it impossible for his bullshit shots to even touch us, which is pretty sweet. And just give me more bombs. Like that's what I need right now. Nothing. Well, we got more bombs. Okay, that's what I asked for. I I gave you what you asked for. And you don't give me anything, or you you just say, "Oh, fuck that." What a jerk. That's what the game's saying to me. I'm playing the part of the game right now. Hate it or love it, the underdogs on top, and I'm gonna shine, homie, until my heart stops. Go ahead and envy me. I'm uh, Raps MVP, and I ain't going nowhere, so you can get to know me. Just a lovely war of attrition there. Nothing? I'm gonna take this actually for. Per actually, we don't need that for permanent Polaroid invincibility because we have the wafer, but I've already done it, so, you know, there is that. Alright, more invincibility, please. More invincibility, please. More chests as well. More chests, please. Thank you. Ah, uh, it's probably this probably okay. I think that that might be acceptable for us, to be honest with you. Yeah, that, I mean that was sacrificial dagger mostly doing the damage there, but that's still something. Oh, uh, I still think remote detonator is our is our go-to here. We might end up losing this run, but I certainly hope we don't. There's our spirit heart. We didn't need to pick it up right there. What we did is we we made a decision that a lot of people would make. So I'm not going to, you know, toot my own horn, but we traded a run that was a guaranteed win but kind of boring and it served its purpose for a uh, for another chance at uh, at greatness. We Rocky Balboa it. Take forever with the death animations here. Rocky Balboa gets a bad rap, man. People who have never seen the movie and even some people who have go, "That's a ridiculous premise." An old man fighting a young man in the boxing ring. Good lord, that's that's the the movie totally gets that dog. It's all about how he knows he's like a washed up star. He does, he just wants like a brief shot at the glory that he used to have. It's it's not about him training to the point where he's going to be able to destroy the shit out of Mason the Lion Dixon. Rather, it's a it's a, an interesting character study in you know. Growing old in a world where, you know, when most people get older, their their earning power and their glory kind of goes up. But if you're a professional athlete, you can't compete anymore. You know, the, the earth has kind of passed you by for uh, for, for the younger and, and the, the fitter generations, you know? Rocky Balboa, uh, except for Rocky 1, Rocky Balboa has the greatest, the most amount of heart out of, out of any of the Rocky movies. Rocky 4 is probably the most entertaining on a simply, like, you know, smiles per minute level. But Rocky Balboa, man, it's got some heart. People don't give it enough respect. I really wish we had like Pyro or something. I've started to take a little bit too much HP, or take a little bit too much HP loss. Fuck off. Stop. Let me get close to you. It'll be like a Cure song. It'll be beautiful and somewhat macabre. Where the hell is our boss fight? I'm getting a little... George is getting upset here a little bit. There's some invincibility. It's good. It's about to wear off, though. We got 30 bombs. 30 bombs. We can afford to get a little close here. There we go. All right, remote detonator. Ah! <laughs> Come on, dark bomb. 30 bombs. I want to kill Sloth first, for once. Nice. I need the HP more than you, Dark Mum. That HP represents three hits for me, whereas you only have a chance to give me the HP that represents 30 hits. Three hits. 30 hits would be pretty good. 30 hits. I don't really care about that damage. It's not that. I care about that damage. That damage was exceptionally dumb. Don't. Never fire. Never fire shots. That's the secret, Cage. Oh, get in there. Get the fuck in there. Yes, we took out one. We have one life left, so it's not like this is even that dire. 
But I don't know what our other life is, so like I'd, I'd rather just like never know. Okay, here we go. This should be interesting. So don't fire. We're actually just gonna get away with placing like a number of bombs around him. Oh, I hit him with the sacrificial dagger! I guess we should start firing. Just keep using like little gish to shoot those bombs in there. Ah, oh, shit, it's getting tight. It's getting tight. Getting tight. Keep them all on that one side. It makes my life not so difficult. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're on invincibility. Place the bombs. Get out. Get out. Okay, blow them all up. <sighs> Didn't quite get the job done. Okay. Oh, okay. Hopefully, it's Lazarus' rags. Hopefully, it's Lazarus' rags so we can come back. Keep coming. Keep them coming, baby. Oh, mama. We almost got you. We almost got you. We got you. What was our life anyway? Let's find out. It was Lazarus's rags. Anyway, we won. <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.